It's a rugged coastline. Get cop some heavy seas from the southwest. A lot of the time it's harsh. There are still things out there that we don't know. There's certainly a lot still to learn. The inshore areas around here, there's some amazing hotspots. There's a lot of kelp, a lot of granite. Occasionally you get some caves. And inside, the colour is just amazing. There's some corals there, a lot, a lot of sponges, ascidians and bryzoans and, and all those weird colourful things that, that grow in the temperate world. Hi, I'm John Totterdell. Been uh, operating down on the coast here in the southern half of WA for well, more than 30 years now. I came to Western Australia and got into a bit of, uh, a bit of fishing and the research archipelago here, which is, you know, 120 odd islands, a big part of this great southern reef. One of the jewels in the, in the crown here. It's an amazing, amazing part of Australia. Sometimes it's pristine, beautiful, glassy and blue. Once you've had a close encounter with a whale, in water and a friendly one that wants to be with you, your life changes. That's it, you're, you're hooked. We're down here off the south coast and we had this encounter with two southern rights. They turned when they saw us at a right angle and just came to us. So I've got this huge eyeball looking at me. And you can see the pupil moving. So when they were mid-water, one would come in on top and just lightly put its weight on the other one, arched its back like that. And so they were like the bonding. It was so gentle and so calm that the behaviour was just amazing. They were lifting up the seaweed with their tail. Uh, there was a little bit of weed on the bottom, mainly sand, but some weed, and they were lifting it up and slowly swimming around and then swimming through the weed that they'd put in the water. And it was just all, it was like they were getting caressed. They both started diving back down towards us. And so I'm backed right away. So hands had the camera so we could get a nice clean shot. And as I'm backing away, this thing came directly at me, just really slowly. I end up, my feet in the sand, I was sanding up. I end up backing away as this thing came down and it stopped dead with its pecs in the sand and I'm, my cylinder's nearly on the sand. I'm back there like this and just going, I'm a friend, I'm a friend. and that was it, and I was hooked. Since those experiences, I've done a lot of whale research. We started noticing a group of orca, killer whales, starting to show up. It took five years to realise we were getting the same animals, and just looking at marks on the dorsal fin, or, or you know, the eye patch is another area we, we identify killer whales. And that's when I realised we've got the same family coming back to the same location year after year. The habitat here along this coast, along the Great Southern Reef, is really important for species like southern bluefin tuna. So our role is to monitor the one-year-olds that show up here each summer. And we've been doing that for, so I say, 30 years now. Reefs that we find off the coast here are, are very important for them. They come and inhabit these reefs. Often they're, they're quite steep and it's got strong currents. 
And one of our studies we did was on the diet of the southern bluefin, and it ranges from crustaceans that they are getting mid-water, strange fish like from leather jackets, goatfish, right up to the fish that you'd expect them to be catching is your small silver, like your sardines and your anchovy. And so the fish hang and rest up for a while and then move on. It is challenging working on the south coast along the, the Great Southern Reef. It doesn't carry the profile that the Great Barrier or, or even Ningaloo or, or tropical areas carry, so it doesn't attract the funding. I think that's largely ignorance. People don't know about it. They don't know the, about the special sites, about what's here, about the animals. And also the, the weather, it uh, it's a, it's a, can be a rough sea out there. In some ways that makes it special as well. So when you do get out and you get windows, good weather windows out, and you, you get to capture some stuff and um, document some, some of the areas, it's uh, pretty special. That's why when we do find these reefs, it's really important to uh, look after them and, and manage them right.